Hi gang, welcome to Pose of the Week. Today our pose is Chikonasana and Lori from New Mexico requested, so thanks so much Lori. All right, well Lori was asking or mentioning that Trikonasana is a place where people fall apart in many different places, and I 100% agree. Many people are just trying to get their hand to the floor, their hand to the foot or something, and what happens is they, their butt goes back, their knees fall in, there's a lot of hyperextension at the knee, there's all these places where the, the posture can be actually harmful. So what, here's my approach. Here's my approach, Lori. So what I want to do, first of all, is set up the feet. So I'm gonna have my right toes pointing straight ahead, my left foot's grounded. Now, I know that the way to stabilize the arch of my feet, the knees and the hips, is by activating externally in my legs. Mostly my hips is, is where it's happening. So I activate external rotation there. And you can see the arches of my feet lift up and my knees, look at this, I can dial my knees away from each other. Boom, my legs are awake. That's where I have to start. And then I'm sending my right hip straight back. I'm not going to, I could push it back this way because it's like there's a hole in the tent over there and I can go into my weak glutes. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna keep myself on this line and I'm coming down. Now before I rush into going down any further, I'm gonna check my back leg. Am I hyperextending or should I bring a little bend in there, keep dialing the knee out, keep dialing this knee out? It's different when you're standing straight up compared to when you come down like this. You might have to readjust a few times. You can use a block or you can have your hand on your shin, ankle, or foot, but we're not bending through the spine because this is the other place where weaknesses show up and that's in bending into the spine. So I wanna stay where I can keep my spine in alignment because the final piece of this pose is this rolling open action that I wanna come into. Now, where's that twist supposed to happen? Your pelvis is already set up with your legs. It's pretty stable. Your sacrum does not twist. So do not twist from the sacrum. Your lumbar spine only twists a little tiny bit. So twist a little tiny bit there. The twist is gonna be through the upper back. So no torquing on the SI joints or the lumbar spine. This is all pretty stable. But if I have a little space, I might roll my chest open and raise my hand up. And then there's lots of things you can do with the hand. You can have some fun with that. That's kind of the cherry on top. But the main part of this pose is getting those legs strongly energized. Spine in a good, healthy position for the spine. And then yes, we absolutely experience a sense of expansiveness here. Bones are reaching out while the muscles hug in. So that's what we're going for. There's, what, who cares about a goal of getting your hand to the ground or whatever you think it might be. It's can I be respectful to my body and actually strengthen my body in my movement practice, in my yoga practice. All right, so I hope that helps, Lori. Give me your comments, I'm sure you will. Thanks for joining, bye for now.